they came under the cover of darkness, no different than the vandal, what they accused us of being. It was the stepping stone to get my name out there and to get my work out there for the public to see whether they wanted to or not. I was living this dual life of having a regular nine to five job. And then at night I would transform and turn into this alter ego. You kind of have a split personality in a way. You don't really want to tell people that you're doing crimes. The adrenaline rush is, is a whole different sport. The heart pumping, am I gonna pull it off and get away with it? If you run, the cheese. Fed this crush, kill, destroy mentality. I was just obsessed with wanting to see my name on everything. Graffiti is a great love story, but for a lot of people, graffiti is a tragedy. It ruins their life. You do a year in jail, it's gonna change your life. You go to prison, it's gonna change your life. Being an artist for a living is hard, man. It ain't for wussies. Now he broke the law fully, and we had to go to court. To me, a city not having graffiti is basically a city with no soul. So graffiti has become accepted so, so much more. It paved the way for all the street artists that you have now. Times are slowly changing where people realize these are valid art forms, and it does take work, and it does take skill. Good job, man. Thank you. It's a huge victory for the artists. We are the storytellers of the future.